Hey there, Leo. Welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is going to be just a general reading uh, for the person that you're thinking about right now, okay? Um, so I'm going to go over your feelings, their feelings, what they're hiding, their next actions, and the outcome, okay? So uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below. I also have personals open if you guys are interested. Um, all the details are down there too, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Also, when you guys are finished with this reading, uh, down in the comments section, there should be some links to your most recent readings that I've done for your sign as well. So you could check those out, especially if I click with your energy. Let's go ahead and get started here for you guys. Oh. Hmm. Leo. All right. Some of you guys could be dealing with a um, Aquarius or a Libra. All right, just big sign in general, okay? Here you are on the bottom of the deck. So you have the Knight of Wands showing up as your feelings towards this person, okay? So this is Sagittarius energy. So I feel like you're very attracted to them. Let's go ahead and look and see what's going on with this. What's going on with the Knight of Wands for how Leo's feeling towards this person? What's going on with the Knight of Wands? I think you're wanting things to move a little bit quicker for some of you guys. Like I, I just feel like you're, you're getting impatient, okay? What's going on with the Knight of Wands? Yeah, some of you guys, you want a commitment. Some of you, it's with a Taurus, okay? Some of you, it could be with another Leo, okay? Keep getting Leo energy here. But yeah, I definitely feel like you want a commitment. You have the hair font here, okay? Um, so you want this person to commit in some way, even if it's not to solidify the connection. Um, you want to know something, okay? You want some kind of solid answer. You have the Seven of Swords. You feel like they're holding back, okay? Uh, some of you might feel like they're being deceitful, okay? Like they're doing something like they're not. Um, you know, speaking with you exclusively or connecting with you exclusively. We have the four of wands here as well, Venus and Aries. So I feel like you want to move it to the next level with this person, but you feel like they're holding back, okay? The sun card, I think you want to get some kind of answer out of them, okay? So for some of you guys, you, you want the commitment here, Leo, but for others of you, I feel like you just want an answer, and that's that, okay? Just give me an answer. Are we going to build, you know, are we going to work together on this or not? So that's how this feels to me here. Ace of Pentacles, because I think that you want commitment in general. So if it's not with this person, you want them to just say, it so you can move on all right what's going on here with the six of swords is how they're feeling towards leo what's going on with the six of swords is how they're feeling towards leo five of pentacles some of you guys may have blocked this person okay i think you're just in this no nonsense kind of energy for some of you um so you may have actually blocked this person okay or ghosted them, abandoned them in some way. Some of you guys, maybe the conversations got a little stale or they were too slow to, um, you know, give you attention or something of that nature here with the Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, some of you guys, this person's just been moving too slowly, all right, for your um, liking, okay? So the way that they're feeling is the Six of Swords. I feel like they're trying to move on from it, okay? You have the Five of Pentacles here. So I feel that for some of you guys, they've actually, um, you know, put you in this space. They've actually left you out in the cold. They've abandoned you in some way. For others of you, obviously, you've done it to them, okay? Uh, you have the Seven of Wands here. So for some of you guys, there could be um, like a physical block. You could block them on social media, block their phone number. Not really sure here, but the Seven of Wands, I also feel is just a block, like resistance in general between you and this person, okay? So um, I feel like there's something here where you're not really telling them, though, okay? So I feel like they want you to communicate something here with this Ace of Swords. Yeah, Three of wands okay they could be trying to reach you if you do have them blocked they could be trying to reach you in other ways okay you have the two of pentacles here so i feel like there's a lot of indecision and i think maybe that's why this energy is occurring in the first place okay because they were too indecisive so i feel like for some of you guys you've broken off from this for others of you um you're being a little bit quiet okay and i think that they understand why all right so i feel like they're planning on communicating in some way because you have the full or excuse me you have the justice card as their next actions but i'm going to look at the full for what they're hiding because i feel like like they're acting like they're single. I mean, they are single. You know, they haven't solidified anything with you. But um, let's see. What's going on with the Fool? The Fool is a very free, youthful, like liberating kind of energy. What's going on with the Fool? Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords. The Lovers. The Chariot. Yeah, truthfully, I feel like they're looking at other options here. Okay? Because you have the Nine of Wands. 
you know, but they're still clutching that one wand, <laughs> okay? I feel like they, they're still holding on to hope here. Somebody could have their moon in Sagittarius. Somebody might have Mars in Gemini, but I do feel like they're grieving over this, you know? Like I said, the Fool is a very lighthearted, fun, youthful energy. Maybe this is kind of the act that they're putting on here, Leo. You do have the Lovers and the Chariot both, okay? So this represents a turning point of some sort. The Chariot, that can represent moving forward or having some kind of victory, okay? So I do feel like they are trying to move on from this, okay? Um, if they're if they're still involved with you, I do feel like there could be somebody else here. You have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, okay? Uh, I think that this person is looking for commitment, you know? It could be one of those things where, you know, instead of coming out and saying, like, I'm seeing multiple people, this could be something like, oh, I don't want anything serious, okay? But truthfully, I feel like this person does want commitment, okay? They just don't want to express that here, but they're, they are exploring options, okay? Now, let's look at the Justice card. I do feel like they're grieving over the fact that, you know, you may no longer be one of those options. Give me the Justice card as their next actions. Which, Leah, you, you breaking off from them might actually seal the deal here, but I don't know. I don't know if you'd be up for that. What's going on with the Justice card? I think you wanted things to move faster, and you've been very patient, but it's just like, yeah, the way that I'm looking at this, you've broken off from this in some way. The Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles, what else? What else? Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Tower. Mm-hmm. Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like they've been watching you or waiting on you in some way here, Leo. Um, or you've been doing this to them. You know, it's energy. Put it where it goes. But the Wheel of Fortune, that represents a return. Okay? A comeback around. We have the Ace of Wands. I feel like they're going to try to start something new here. Or at least make something right. Okay? You've got the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here underneath their actions. Okay? So, obviously, the Justice card represents making something right, of course. And the, um, or it could just be bringing in clarity, bringing in closure. Okay? Um, but for the most part, I feel like the Six of Pentacles with the uh, Justice scales being present in this card as well, I feel like this person is wanting to give and receive. Okay? Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles. They're wanting to plant seeds with you here. Okay? You do have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like they may actually explain to you what was going on here, all right? Um, and I don't feel like it's going to be something that you want to hear, but they are going to be explaining it, okay? Some of you guys, this is an air sign. Well, let's go ahead and look at um, the world. What's going on with the world for Leo? What's going on here with the world for Leo? What's the final outcome? Goodness gracious. I see a reconciliation happening here for a lot of you guys because you have the judgment card. You have the world. So those of you where you were wanting to level up with this person, this could be happening in the summer months, okay? Maybe leading into the fall. But for those of you where you were wanting to level up with this person, I feel like that's coming because you have the world card, okay? Uh, moving up to the next level. I feel like this person is very curious about you. They didn't expect you to pull back, and I think that that's the thing here, okay? Uh, you have the two of wands, so I feel like you have the control, okay? You have the control, and, that, and that's, you know, what you would want because this is your energy. You want control over your own energy. Um, but I feel like in doing that and pulling back, you got their attention in some way with the strength card being here, okay? Um, so they've had to wait. So I feel like that's something that's really playing a role in their decision here. You have the judgment card. So I feel like they are making a decision. They, they are coming up with a plan to communicate in some way. You have the two of cups here as well, all right? So they want to carry this on with you. You have the six of cups. Um, they're reminiscing about this. For a lot of you guys, this is your recent past, like six months, six weeks, something of that nature here. Some of you guys, maybe even six days, okay? What's going on with the six of cups? Because we did have the Wheel of Fortune show up as their um, um, next actions, okay? That was under their next actions. Like I said, that's a card of a return. And then you have the Six of Cups underneath the final outcome, okay? So that is a card of the past. What's going on with the Six of Cups? The Magician, okay? Yeah, they want to make this work here. They want to rekindle something with you. They feel a very youthful energy between the two of you guys, a very playful energy. This could definitely be an air sign for some of you, maybe a Virgo or a Gemini. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing you guys level up with this person, but of course you have free will. I feel like right now there's a lot of... Um, how would you put it here? There's like a standoff energy going on here, but I see this person budging, all right, before too long, probably the summer months, maybe Leo season. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, but... Uh, 
that's what I'm seeing for you. If you want something more tailored to your energy, you're more than welcome to book a personal. You could also watch out for your other signs. And don't forget that I have some links in the comment section. But if this is where we part, I do want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me. And you all enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.